Hello fellow makers and welcome back to 3D Printed Soup. This week we're talking about stairs. With the old Nick Commander you got ladders and that was it. You could go up and down or vertical and that was pretty much the scale you could move around the underhive. But with Duck Uprising and um, a few of the other box sets, you now get some really beautifully engineered stairs for your Kill Team and Necromunda games. And these things are lovely. They click together fairly easily. Just up, over and in. And you can make wonderful setups. That means you can take the game even more... Ah, there we go. Even more vertically than you could before. And these things look brilliant and they're wonderfully engineered. Only problem is... Dark Uprising is a very expensive game and you only get a couple of stairs with it and if you buy the other packs you only get a couple of sets of stairs with those as well and I want to cover my board with stairs completely but not run out of money and still have money for food and sleeping indoors. So, I went on to Thieverse and found a guy called Matthias17 and he has done a wonderful job creating his own set of stairs. They are very different to the Necromunda ones, they're bigger, they're more chunky and I think they actually look more industrial because they've got holes in them and they make it look like they're made out of grills and gratings and not just bits of textured plastic which, although I do love the Games Workshop ones, they are very very nice these are brilliant and I'm really really looking forward to building them so I'm going to print myself a set off, I'm going to print some basic ones and some of the more fancy ones that he's done and yeah, we're going to have a look at that now and see how these turn out and compare them to the Games Workshop ones. Before I do, however, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And click the notification button so you know when I next upload a video. I do them once a week, sometimes more. This will tell you when they get uploaded. Let's give this a look. Cue the ambient hip-hop. Okay, let's start off with the basic setup. These are the standard ones you print out. You've got the struts either side, and you've got all the stairs to go up. And these things sit at about a 45 degree angle. You just chuck the uh, steps into the struts, like so. And these things sit really, really nicely. They just sit there very, very, let me just, uh, they just slide in and slide on. You can just line them up. Put each layer of stairs in. I will glue these eventually, but for now I'm just going to put them in to give you a demo because I'm not sure which... Uh, angle I want them at yet. Oh, yeah, there we go. These look really, really nice. And yeah, let's have a quick comparison. Here's the Games Workshop ones. And yeah, the Games Workshop ones are nice. I like them. I'd like the bigger steps though. Uh, I, I, I think the figure's going to fit on there um, a little nicer. So let's, let's give that a try and see how, how figures fit in these things. So I've got here your regular Escher Ganger on the Games Workshop one. Yeah, they, they, they stand out nicely. I mean, the uh, the base overhangs very, very slightly, but um, yeah, they work quite nicely. 
and on the 3D printed one by Mafia 17. Yeah, the, the base goes all the way up to the top. You can put them either side anywhere. You've actually got a lot more room to work there. And the detail is okay on here, but I like the fact that Mithras put holes all the way through. And these feel a lot more industrial. And I actually prefer the print to the Games Workshop ones. Now let's have a look at this slightly more complicated print. These are the larger stairs. They got the holes through again, but these are, as I say, the dis also the nice thing is because the details are different, you can combine the two sets and then you've got very, very different looking stairs at different, different stages of your table. So it gives it a nice variety, which you don't get with the Games Workshop ones, unless of course you uh, spend the time and uh, customise them, which you could do and they'd look great, but this kind of saves the job. Okay, these clip together the same way as the last ones did. Like so, like so. Set that down. Yeah, that's all fitted together really nicely. And you even get a little t little uh, top step there you can put in as well. And these clips here are compatible with existing uh, Sector Mechanica stuff. And these just pop on like so, and they grip onto the Sector Mechanica stuff so it can be used together with all your existing uh, Necromunda scenery. So yeah, I'm really, really liking this design. And another thing, just in the icing on the cake, he's even done railings that uh, just pop on as well. Things, there we go, I'll glue these later. But yeah, railings on the side, nice wide steps, holes for the steps to make it look properly industrial, and it's compatible with existing Games Workshop Sector Mechanicus kind of stuff. So yeah, absolutely loving this pattern. I'm really, really enjoy looking forward to printing out loads of this, um, giving it a paint and see what it looks like with a uh, bit of bronze on there and uh, some some some, some uh, weathering and um, maybe some nylac oxide to give it a, sort of a, a rusty bronze look. Yeah, very, very happy with these. Let's see what they look like on the tabletop. very nicely. So yeah, thanks so much for watching 3D Printed Soup. Don't forget to like, subscribe, stay happy, stay safe, keep printing.